Welcome to this Estimator Express Getting Started video on creating an estimate. In this video, I'll show you how to create an estimate using estimating calculators, or workbooks as we call them in Estimator Express. Before you create your estimate, it's a good idea to update your material prices using the Download Prices button on the main menu. We'd also recommend checking and adjusting your labour rates in the labour section of the price book. You can find your price books in My Settings. To start your estimate, click My Estimates to open the My Jobs screen. The My Jobs screen contains all of the jobs you're working on or have created in the past. To create a new estimate, click the New Estimate button on the ribbon. There are now four ways of creating an estimate in Estimator Express. You can use QuickQuote to estimate using a standard job template. You can use QuickQuote to produce a custom estimate for renovation jobs or non-standard builds. You can import plans from Plans Express for rapid takeoff, or you can produce a custom estimate from scratch using estimating calculators. If you've purchased the QuickQuote plugin, we recommend that you stop viewing this video and take a look at the video called Introduction to QuickQuote. Introduction to QuickQuote will show you how to produce an estimate in minutes using QuickQuote. If you have a Plans Express drawing ready to import into Estimator Express, we also recommend that you stop viewing this video and instead watch the video called Importing a Plans Express drawing into Estimator Express for rapid takeoff. Using either of these options will significantly reduce the amount of time you spend creating your estimate. In this video, I'll show you how to produce an estimate from scratch using the many estimating calculators within Estimator Express. Enter a name for the job. In this case, I'm just using the customer name. Select a job description. And a job number will be automatically allocated. Alternatively, you can enter a specific number if you want. Click here to enter your customer address details. Click here if the site address is the same as the customer address. Now select a price book. The price book contains all of the materials, labour and plant needed for your estimate. I've selected the master price book, which is the price book provided with the software. You can set up merchant links and customise your price book from my settings on the main menu. See the training video on price books for more information. Now we need to select a group of workbooks. Remember, workbooks are the estimating calculators used to price up your job. There are a number of groups of workbooks already set up in Estimator Express. Each group of workbook contains a number of workbooks which you might want to use for a specific type of work, for example a house, lean to extension or loft conversion. You'll have the opportunity to add workbooks once you've created the estimate and delete any you don't need. Select a start date. If you select a Monday, you get a full week on the Gantt chart. Now select a chart type. This is going to be a small extension. If you add workbooks to your estimate, with build phases which aren't already included in the chart, they'll automatically be added to the chart later. Select a specification for the job. I'm going to select the extension specification. This specification will use plant appropriate for work where space is limited such as mini diggers rather than JCBs. It will also allow more time to complete the different labour tasks than the new build specification. As with the price books, you can configure your specification from My Settings on the main menu. See the training video on specifications for more information. You can refine your specification further by selecting mini specs from the options below. I'm going to select a 70p facing brick for an extension and I'm going to select pan tiles for an extension. If you leave these options set to same as specification, they will defer to the defaults within the software. Usually for the tiling, plain tiles are specified by default. I'm going to leave the rest of the mini specs set to same as specification, as I'm happy with the guttering, fascias and decoration as they're set up within the specification. You can save the job profile you've just set up including the selected specification, mini specs and chart for future use. You can select the profile next time you have a similar job using the select job profile button. 
Don't forget to review the profit markup by clicking the Review Profit Markup button. The figures you see in your estimate are actual costs and you can set a percentage profit markup for each type of resource. These figures are set to 30% by default. You can change the default profit markup in My Settings or you can tweak them here as you create your estimate. You can also amend the profit markup once you've completed your estimate. You can review the inflation rates by clicking the Review Inflation Rates button. As with the profit, you can set the inflation rates for each type of resource. Inflation rates are set to 5% by default. You can set the delay before applying inflation by entering the number of weeks into this input box. Once you're happy with your selections, click Create Estimate. Estimator Express takes a few moments to prepare your estimate. Once the job summary screen appears, you're ready to start work on your estimate. Take a look at the other Estimator Express Getting Started videos for guidance on what to do next.